Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> okay. Okay, welcome one more time. We're going to start tonight. It is time to start to practice. So I'm going to take the first attendance, okay? Okay, please turn on your cameras and be ready to respond when I call out your name. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Good. Present. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Yeah, I need a hand. 
Zenaida America Dominguez. Chat Tilda Xiomara Soriano. Chat Ana Delmi Herrera. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Hey, very good. Welcome. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. And Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Good. Welcome. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Irma de Los Ángeles. Flores. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Silvia. Silvio Enrique Cortez. Then Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Oh, Xiomara, good evening. Welcome. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's get it started tonight. That is. Okay, we will continue uh, talking about the past form. Last night we started talking about the past of B. Tonight we are going to continue talking about the past form. I know you have a chart. We are going to check that. Later, okay. Vamos a ver, vamos a usar el cuadro más tarde. Trabajar en esta lección un poco antes. Tonight's objective is at the end of the class, you will be able to evaluate meetings, information, products. Services and training. There are two questions here to start. Look at this. How often do you evaluate products at your company? And who is in charge of buying supplies? at your workplace. 
What do you think about that? How often do you evaluate products or services if you if you provide services and not products? How often do you evaluate your company's work, your company's products, or your company's service? I like to hear it. Every year, twice a year, never. Tell me, how often do you evaluate your work or your company's work? Mm -hmm. Never? You never have evaluations about the company's work? Yeah, teacher, in my case, each 15 days. Every 15 days? Yes. Oh, very often. Because we buy um, scholar material and for the for the timing or tire and, and we buy more. Oh. Okay, so every two weeks you are evaluating. Yes. Okay. And okay. In my, in my case teacher is to evaluate the uh, one mo monthly. Monthly? After the close the most the okay. the five days, uh, the first days of the next month, evaluate the close in account and, and analyze the results. And uh, if uh, we achieve or obtain the, the achievements. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah, well, you see, this in these classes, uh, we have an evaluation every month, oh, every at the end of the course. So the survey is kind of evaluation. And in my job as an interpreter, I think every two months is. Uh, there is someone called QA or quality analyst uh, who talked to talk to us about the the good things and the things we can improve uh, every month. No, every two months. Every two. We as uh, agents or as, as, as interpreters, we are evaluating. Um, yeah, I Okay, very good. And the other question is, who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? Who is in charge? of this life. Huh? Tell me. In my case, I am in charge uh, of the shop shopping. Purchase. Purchase. The word purchase. Local purchase. Oh, okay. And my co-worker uh, is easy. He's in charge the 
cook sería cocina, cook for cheese. The cook, kitchen. Kitchen, yes. The kitchen, for cheese. Ah, okay. My lamp is running out of battery. Okay, very good. Um, what about the, uh, there at the hotel, Marisol? Who's in charge of buying supplies? Oh, um, the manager. The manager. Yes, the manager is in charge of purchase. Okay. Good. And there are uh, uh, who else? What about in, in your company, uh, Carlos? Who's in charge of purchase? Mm -hmm. I have a uh, department department for purchase buyer and two people uh, for import uh, all ma raw material. No to key. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Let's take a look now to the conversation for tonight's lesson. Okay. It's about that. Hank and Eric. This is a conversation between Hank and Eric. Use this. Uh, listen. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Ray, did you order it online? Or did you buy it in did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself, downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice, as usual. Okay, one more time. Hi, Eric, did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product, that's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Ray, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very good. Now let's practice. Okay, repeat after me, please. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing, sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Okay. okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? Of the new product? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. 
It, it will, will be tomorrow. tomorrow. Hey, did you order it online or did hey. you buy it downtown? Hey. Did you order it online you buy it downtown? downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Yes, I went to get it by myself, myself downtown. How was the customer service? Oh, How was the customer, customer service? It was nice as usual. It, it was, was nice as, nice as, as usual. usual. Okay, very good. Now, uh, I am Hank and you are Eric, okay? okay? Let's see. Hi, Eric, did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, yes. I did, yes. Robert. Yes, I did, Robert. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the oh, new, the new product? product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Ready more tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Downtown. How was the customer service? It was, it was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. Very good. Now you are Hank and I am Eric. You begin. One, two, three. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Did, did you buy the for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. okay. I need the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Great. Did you order it online? Or did you buy it downtown? Downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was, it? was the customer service? It was nice, as usual. It was okay. nice, as usual. <laughs> Okay, now there are three questions about this conversation. What did Eric need to buy? What was the price of the product? And how was the customer service at the store? One question, what is the spare part? What is the spare part? Pieza de repuesto. Muy bien. Pieza de repuesto. Para la máquina de coser. Yes. The sewing. Sewing machine. The sewing machine. Muy bien. Okay. Fair part for the sewing machine. Very good. So I'll send you to work in pairs to practice the conversation and respond the three questions. Um, Go to your groups, practice the, practice the conversation, and respond the questions, okay? See you in 10 minutes. Join your, your groups, please.
please join your groups. Your classmates, classmates are waiting for you. Anna and Suleyma, they are waiting for you. Teacher, tengo problemas con, con el internet. Estoy tratando de descargar Zoom en, en otro teléfono porque este no me funciona. Oh, okay. Ya me voy a conectar nuevamente. Okay. Está bien hecha y bien puesta, ¿no? Tiene que ver. Tiene que ver. A la cara. En la cara que le
Okay, welcome back. I'd like to hear some of you with uh, the conversation, okay? Let's start with Marisol and Xiomara, please. Okay. Okay. Me I'm first. Fine. Um, <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, that's okay. You first. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the swimming machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Hey, very good, perfect. Thank you. Now please, Joanna and Suleyma. Okay. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robin. The price was $73. Me escucha. Yes. Okay, I need. Ya que escucho cortado. La verdad sí. Ahorita. Pero el problema es mío de Silvia. No sé. Hola. Hola, adelante. Sí. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy the it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as, as usual. Hey, very good. Thank you. Uh, now, please, um, Alejandra and Miguel. Okay, teacher. Me, Hank. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spear part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the product? Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? How was the customer service? Eh, se se oh, yes. I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very good, thank you. Now please, Silvio and Claudia. Okay. Who first? Hi Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? 
Are you there, Claudia? Claudia? My group was is uh, Alejandra. Okay, so Silvio and Carla. Disculpe, teacher. Ah, ya está aquí. Sí, disculpe que entré un poquito tarde porque aún estoy un poquito mal de salud, pero aquí estoy. Ok. ¿Puede practicar la conversación? Ok, sí, sí, está bien. Ok, perfecto. Ok, go ahead. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was in. Perdón, teacher, ahí, ¿cómo se dice? 78. 78. Ok, I, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? Or did you buy in downtown? Yes, went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, <clears throat> very good, thank you. Now please, Carla and Olga. Okay, teacher. Olga, you start. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. I need a evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Now, please. I don't know if Angel is available. Can you, Angel? Maybe not. Okay, Carlos and Caroline, please. Okay, well, hi, are you, did you buy the spur part for the subway machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself. Downtown, perdón. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, very good. Thank Finish. you. Uh, just let me tell you a little bit about this. Here, did you order it? Order it. Ahí el sonido se, se funde, se une. Actualmente, ¿no? Did you order it? Order it online? Or did you buy it? No. Algunos se, se frenan ahí. Did you buy it? No. Ahí hay que dejar de frenar. Hay que unir esos dos sonidos, ¿no? Did you order it? Did you buy it? 
así como acá, ¿no? Get it. No hay que separar esos sonidos. Get it, no. Get it. Ok. Esto les va a ayudar a hacer más fluida la pronunciación. Order it, buy it, get it. Ok. Um, otra cosita, nada más. Esta palabrita, algunos. Un poquito. Es usual. It was nice and as usual. Teacher. Hola. What is the correct pronunciation? The sewing or sewing or sewing? So. Sewing machine. Sewing. So, casi, casi una o. Sewing machine. Okay. Oh. ok. Muy bien. ¿Alguna pregunta con la conversation? Ok. No. Let's take a look at the questions. What did Eric need to buy? Well, uh -huh. can they give me the answer. What did Eric need to buy? Eric need to buy the spare part of the sewing machine. Yes. And what was the price of that part? What was the price? Uh, the price was seventy-eight dollars. Yes, seventy-eight. Okay, seventy-eight. Eight dollars. Yes. And how was the customer service at the store? The store teacher customer service was nice as usual. Was nice as usual. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now we're going to review again the past form of beats, the questions. Let me show you. This is the structure for questions of with B in the past. B plus subject plus complement. Uh, to be more specific, diríamos que en la pregunta de este tipo de pregunta, aquí abajo. La estructura es was o where, dependiendo del sujeto. ¿verdad? Vamos a usar was o where, plus subject, plus complement. Ok. Plus the question mark. So it's was or where, plus subject or complement. This is for yes, no question. Ok. And you see here, was the training interesting? Was the training interesting? You see, where all the employees at the conference. Okay. And the short answers for this is, yes, it was. Yes, it was, or it wasn't. Yes, they were, or no, they were. Siempre recuerden que en las affirmative short answers, we never use contractions. Okay? As affirmative short answers, we never use contractions. 
En negatives no hay problema. Sí podemos usar contractions. Pero nunca en affirmative short answer. ¿Ok? Bien. Um, no sé si tengan alguna pregunta sobre esta parte, que son las questions with B in the simple and in the past form. No? Fair. Entonces, acá un párrafo, dos párrafos. El primero dice, lo leo. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spare ES. The price was $300. The brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. Then the second paragraph says, On January 2nd, I bought the rich part that were requested. The price was $30 each, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Now the idea is to create seven questions from the two paragraphs. De los dos párrafos sacar seven questions con las respuestas. ¿No? Pueden usar um, simple paso B y el simple pass. Por ejemplo, um, when did you buy a spare part for the printer? The answer, I bought a spare part for the printer on November 1st. Okay, I'll go see. Unas y cinco pas, y en otras el pas. So, I'll give you time to write all the questions you can. Voy a dar diez minutos individualmente para que hagan eso. Y luego, en parejas o tríos, voy a poner a que comparen sus preguntas, a que se hagan preguntas unos a otros, ¿verdad? Preguntas y respuestas para practicar. Luego vamos a ver lo del cuadrito que quedó pendiente de ella. ¿Ok? Para seguir practicando el simple. Dicho. Yes. Dicho. Hola. The, the second attendance. Yes, it's time for the second attendance. So, please, turn on your cameras and respond. Ready? Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Olga Marlene Gómez. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Ok. Senaida América Domínguez. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Good. Ana Delmi Herrera, no. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay, Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Ana Marisol Mendoza. 
Present. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Carla Verónica Suria. Present, teacher. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present. Ok, Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Eh, eh, Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Carolina Yamile Hernández. Present. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Silvia. Present. Ok. Uh, Silvia, the personal session is with you tonight. Ok. Uh, okay. Silvia Enrique Cortés. Present. Thank you. And Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Entonces, work, write questions and answers for the two paragraphs. And then later you're going to practice it, okay? With your questions and answers. Work individually right now. If you finish, remember, raise your hand.
Dice.
Mira, mi amor. Me va a dar. Me va a dar. Me Muchas gracias, te agradezco mucho por la información. O sea, estamos confiando siempre en Dios, ¿verdad? El único que puede ser el bien, si no, pues, que sea la voluntad del Señor. Una bendición.
Okay, people, now I will send you to the breakout rooms to practice or to, to compare, to share your questions. Okay, so please join your groups and compare your questions and answers, okay? And practice asking um, your questions. Uh, comparen y luego practiquen preguntando y respondiendo. Okay. Join your group, please. Teacher, me vuelve a enviar la solicitud para entrar a los grupos. Um. Bueno. Thank you. Teacher, le di entrar, pero me regreso acá. No, espérate, no. Es que tengo que moverte dos veces para que quede de nuevo. Así es que okay. yo, yo te aviso. Ok. Ahora.
muy corto el párrafo. We need to hear. Good evening, Anna. Good evening. Okay. The practice asking and responding? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Perfect. Very good. Okay. See you soon. Bueno, está bueno. Eso no es el que regalaron. ¿Ah? Aquí en la ciclovía. Sí, ahí andaba en eso. Repeat, please. Ok. Dice... El otra puse how was the information provided? Eh, ¿Cómo fue la información? How was the information pro provide, proporcionada? Yes. Eh, yes. Okay, people, I like to hear some of your questions, okay? Let's start with Carlos. Can you read me one of your questions? Okay. Um, what is the price of the square part? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? What is the price of the square part? What did the price? Mm. 
That is not a good question. What and what spare part are you talking about? Right. Okay, let me write it as you say. What did the price of the spare part? Okay. Question. What spare part? The case spare part some of land. Oh. What is the uh, price of the spare part uh, for the printer? For the printer. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Qué dicen los demás? ¿Esa pregunta? No. What was the ah. uh, which was the price of the printer? Bueno, no es el printer el que están comprando. Es una price? parte de la impresora. Pieza. Ajá, por ahí alguien lo dijo ya. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? The price. What was, what was the price? Okay. What was the price of the spare part for the printer? Okay. You sure. Hola. Is correct how much did the part cost? Uh, okay. Está bien. Voy a, voy a copiar esa que dice Carolina. How much? How much did the part cost? The part cost. Okay, es otra manera de preguntarlo. Muy bien. A ver. Um, Alejandra, una de sus preguntas, por favor. Okay, teacher. Um, what is the brand name of the printer? Pero esta no está en pasado. Y el ejercicio es en pasado. Otra. What was the ah bueno sí, creo que la dijeron sí eh, how was the customer service in the store okay muy bien Vamos a ver, eh, Suleima, una pregunta. What was the brand the spare part for the printer? Okay. A ver, um, Miguel, una pregunta. Okay, uh, what was the buy on November 1st? What was the buy on November 1st? Mm -mm. Mm. No, ¿qué quieres preguntar, Miguel? Eh, ¿qué... ¿Cuál fue la compra que hicieron el primero de noviembre? What was the buy? Mm. 
Ok. ¿Cómo podemos preguntar eso? A ver, ¿cómo podemos arreglar esta pregunta? What did you buy? 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 What did you Ahora incluso con la otra puede funcionar, pero si usamos purchase. ¿Verdad? Porque ya estamos hablando de un, de de un sustantivo. Y buy es un verbo. ¿Ya? Purchase. Ya podemos usarlo como sustantivo. What was the purchase? On November 1st. Pero esta está mejor. What did you buy on November 1st? Ok. A ver, Silvio, one question. Ok. What, what did you say the customer service was great? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, a ver, a ver, a ver. La pregunta es, entiendo yo que quieres preguntar por qué. Uh -huh. Ok, what is the question word for por qué? No, es why. Ah, ok. Why. Ok, entonces yo escuché mal. Why. Yes, why. Because we receive all the information we need. A ver. Why did you say the customer service was great? ¿Cómo traduces eso? Silvio. Eh, eh, ¿Por qué dices que el... el... Ah, oye hoy, hoy, hoy esa primera parte. Sí. De nuevo. ¿Por qué tú dices que... El... Eso, está, eso está en pasado o en presente. ¿Por qué dijiste eso? Ah, well, okay. Ajá. ¿Por qué dijiste que el servicio al cliente eh, fue genial o fue bueno? Ok. Entonces, así como la leías al principio, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? What do? Why do? Why do, Why do you say? ¿Por qué dices? Oh. Okay, the, the, why do you say the customer service was great? Incluso. What do you say what? That. Este que sería that. Why do you say that the customer service was great? Ah, porque dijiste que. El servicio al cliente fue muy bueno. Ok. Muy bien. A ver. Sigamos con Xiomara. Voy a quitar esta respuesta de acá. Bueno, aquí lo voy a escribir mejor. One question. Who bought the Ritz part? Who bought the Ritz part? Okay. Very good. Muy bien. Como ven, esta pregunta está, está bien. Como ven, igual que... Eh, que en presente en pasado no usamos auxiliar en preguntas con who ¿verdad? y el verbo va conjugado who bought ok sigamos con Carla give me one of your questions Carla
Carla Verónica, one. Yes, Carla. teacher, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Give me one of your questions. Okay. Um, the question was the machine working properly? Was the machine working properly? Properly. Okay, very good. Uh, Claudia, one of your questions, please. When did you buy, buy the part of the No le escuché todo, pero asumo que es esto. Sí. When did you buy the car part of the machine? Okay, muy bien. A ver, Marisol. Okay, teacher. The second, um, how was the machine working? Okay, very good. And falta Nelson. Um, what was the date of your buy? buy? Okay. Me dijo que era mejor en este caso purchase. Okay. Okay, purchase. De tu compra. Muy bien. Joana. Yes, teacher. One question. Lita. And did they install the sewing machine? Did they start? I uh, installed the sewing machine. Uh, install. Muy bien. Ana, por ahí acababa de entrar. No sé si tenga algo. Ya se fue. Ángel. No sé, Ángel, ¿tienes algo? ¿O has estado medio ausente o medio presente, mejor. Damos el vaso medio lleno. Ok, ya están todos. Ok, very good. Good questions. Now, let's practice. When did you buy the spare part for the printer? Carla, respond that question, please. When did you buy the spare part for the printer? I bought the spare part, the spare part for the printer on November 1st. Perfect. Congratulations. Claudia, what was the price of the spare part for the printer? I um, price of the part in the Tuesday of sure. the printer. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One, what was the price? <laughs> Three hundred. Eh, perdón, pensé que era. Es three hundred. The price was $300. Okay, good. Sí. Disculpe. Okay, no problem. Okay, how much is the power cost? Es la misma. A ver, Marisol, how was the customer service in the store? Where you 
But the, the printer. The customer service was great because okay. we received all the information we needed. Okay, very good. Um, Suleyma. What was the brand of the spare part for the printer? It was pretty well. Perfect. Thank you. Carla. No, Carla, ya le pregunté, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Yes, ¿Sí? teacher. ¿O no? Ok. Joana. What did you buy on November 1st? Teacher dijo Joana. Yes, Joana. Ah, okay. okay. They have a spare part for the printer. Okay, good. Silvio, actually your question, why did you say that the customer service was great? Silvio? Because uh, we received all the information we needed. Perfect. Caroline, who bought the rich part? Who bought the rich part? Um, a ver. The rich part uh, that were, were requests. Ah, uh -huh. question is who? Who bought the rich part? Ah. Uh, who bought uh, the rich part on January 2nd? Pay attention, pay attention. Who? 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 Yeah. Who? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah, I, you, we, they, who bought the rich parts? No, es que no recuerdo que es bought, teacher. Bought, <laughs> compró. Ah, bought. Ah, compró. Here is the answer. Uh, um, um, uh, on January 2nd. This is the answer. I bought the rich part. I, yes. Who bought the rich mm. part? I bought the rich parts. Okay. Uh, I bought the rich part. Okay. Oh, very good. Uh, Carlos, was the machine working properly? Um, yes, it did. Was. It was. Yes, it was. Okay, good. Olga, when did you buy the part of the machine? The machine. When did you buy the part of the machine? On January 2nd. Okay, good. Uh, Alejandra, how was the machine working? Uh, Alejandra, Como teacher? Como teacher? how was the machine working? Working. How was the machine working? Alejandra. The machine uh, 
properly? Working properly? The machine. Was working properly. 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 Yes, properly. properly. Very good. Teacher, una yeah. pregunta. Is one question. Y si solo dijera it was properly? Mm, no, it was no. You should say it was working properly. It was working properly. Or only proper. Yeah. How it was, was the machine? No. It was. It's important. No, no. You you could say. How was the machine working? Okay. It was working properly. That está bien. Or. How was the machine working? Properly. Perfecto. Pero okay. it was properly, no. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, thank you. okay, you're welcome. Uh, Miguel. Aquí, bueno, aquí no especificaron, pero sumamos que estamos hablando de la segunda, segundo párrafo. What was the date of your purchase? What was the date of your purchase? In the day of purchase of January 2nd. Okay, the date of the purchase was January 2nd. And um, let's see. Nelson, did they install the sewing machine? Yes, they did. Perfect. Yes, they did. They were. Ah. Pero aquí no dice eso, la verdad, la pregunta. Porque no es eso lo que, no es, no es la máquina la que instalaron. They install the parts in the sewing machine. So, esta pregunta debería de ser: Did they install the parts in the sewing machine? Porque ellos no instalaron la máquina. They the price was $30 and they, eso significa las partes, and they were installed in the sewing machine. Las partes fueron instaladas en la máquina de coser. Entonces la pregunta debía ser, did they install the parts in the sewing machine? Yes, they did. Okay, very good, very good. Well, let's stop here. Uh, we will continue tomorrow with simple past. Okay, with more practice about simple past. All right. Very good. Let's take the last attendance. And I'll start from the bottom to the top. So please respond. Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Yes, teacher, present. Okay, Joanna, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present, good night. Good night. Silvia Zuleima Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Okay, don't go. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present, teacher. Very good. Good night. Good night, teacher. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. 
Okay, good night. Mayra Roxana Hernández, she's gone. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. She's gone. Ángel eh, Alexander Guardado. She's gone. Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Good okay. night. Good night. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Good night. Present. Okay, good night. See you. Good night. Linda Stephanie Ramirez didn't show up tonight. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay, sweet dreams. Ana Delmi Herrera. Present teacher. Hello, good night. Ana Delmi. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Good night. Good night, Ana. Okay. See you tomorrow. Senaida America Dominguez. Didn't See you show tomorrow. up today. Bye bye, Xiomara. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Okay. Good night, Claudia. Good night, teacher. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, Olga. Well, good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. And Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Okay, See you, See you very, very interesting. The class. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good night. Ok, Zuleima, ¿hay algo que quisiera reforzar? Um, este, no tenía como listo algo que pedirle, pero tal vez el, el uso del DID. Ok, veámoslo. Aquí. Ok, acá no. Oh. Acá está. Ok, el did lo vamos a usar para el simple past, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero como ve en las oraciones afirmativas, no lo necesitamos. En las oraciones afirmativas en pasado, vamos a utilizar el verbo en pasado. ¿No? Por ejemplo, esta, ¿no? Y vamos a decir, he played. Aquí está, hay un errorcito, es played. He played football. ¿Ok? Lo que vamos a utilizar, como dice acá, es el sujeto, he el verbo en pasado simple, played, y el object or complement, football. He played football. Ahora bien, para las oraciones negativas, aquí empezamos a usar el did como auxiliar para formar oraciones negativas. ¿eh? Y vamos a decir, he did not play football. He did not play football. Entonces, tenemos el sujeto. He. ¿Verdad? La forma negativa es did más not. Did not. El verbo va a ir en forma básica. Ya no va a ir en pasado. He did not play okay. football. Ok, aquí apareció el did en, el, en las oraciones negativas en pasado. 
Luego nos vuelve a aparecer en las preguntas. En las yes no questions es lo primero. Did he play football? Okay. ¿Verdad? Tenemos el did, es lo primero, luego el sujeto, luego el verbo en forma base. Y por supuesto en las oraciones de información. Y tenemos de nuevo el did, ¿verdad? Como auxiliar. ¿Eh? Lo que en este caso primero va el, la palabra de pregunta, que en este caso es when, luego el did, luego el sujeto y luego el verbo en su forma básica. When did he play football? Pero okay. cuando estamos afirmando, no lo necesitamos. A menos que do sea el verbo principal. Por ejemplo, si yo digo en presente, I do the homework. En pasado sería, I did the homework. ¿Ya? Pero did ahí no es un auxiliar, sino que es el verbo principal de la oración. El negativo de eso sería I didn't do. ¿Verdad? I didn't do the homework. ¿Ok? Ok. Ese es el uso del did en el pasado. ¿Ese hay alguna pregunta? Ok. No, teacher, solamente. Muy bien. Ah, oh, en este caso, ¿cómo diferenciar cuándo usar el did y el was and were? Es decir. Ok. Recuerde que el was. No puedo decir he was. El was no es un auxiliar. El was es el verbo to be. Hay oraciones donde no usamos uh -huh. otro verbo, solo el verbo to be, yo soy, yo estoy. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. cuando la oración es con el verbo to be, estamos hablando de was, where. Cuando tenemos otro verbo, que no es el verbo to be, estamos usando el did. ¿Verdad? Ok. Okay, o sea, y no, no, no se mezclan. Uh -huh. ¿No? no vamos a decir I was did. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Okay, teacher. Ok. Uh, bien. ¿Alguna otra inquietud sobre eso? No sé si quedó bien no, claro. Dicho. Sí, sí, muy claro. Gracias. Ok, Suleima. Excelente, ¿verdad? Hace feliz noche y nos vemos mañana. Gracias, igual. ¿Sí? Feliz noche.